gentlemen, what is going on? It's Hidan, and welcome to yet another video. Come join me, gentlemen, as we cover some ladies on TikTok. Now, just before we start, I received a comment on my latest video that it's called Roster and not Roaster. <laughs> Which, <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm a little embarrassed, but you know, keep in mind, uh, I do not live in a native English speaking country. Uh, so yeah, like some words which I don't use on, on a daily basis, uh, I don't know the, the right pronunciation, so sorry for that. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, gentlemen. Thank you, for, thank you for clarifying that. Now, these TikToks have been sent by, um, by a subscriber on our Discord server, so shout out to him and shout out to Detective Walk who told me about it. By the way, guys, maybe today or tomorrow I'll join the Discord. Uh, with my name Hidan, so you can text me and tag me if you if you find any content that you want me to cover. With that being said, let's get down to business. Stop giving ugly men a chance. What do you think would happen if a guy made the same video? They do, and they have been since the beginning of time. They've been calling women low value and comparing them to used cars every time they've had access to a microphone. Men don't use the term low value the same way women do. When a woman says low value, she either means a guy is not successful or ambitious or competitive enough or handsome enough or is not willing to put up with all the bullcrap. If men say low value, which they rarely do, if at all, they just mean not dating material. Men don't put women in different categories ranging from A to Z. They either find a woman attractive or unattractive, dating material or not dating material. So when men compare women to used cars, it's not because a woman is less attractive than another one, but it's because this car slash woman comes with a variety of problems that begs the question, why should I pay the same price for an old car if I can get a new one? But it feels uncomfortable to hear it about yourself because it hasn't historically been done. You're not used to seeing men judge solely on their physical appearance instead of who they are as a person. And now you're mad that they're being lumped together by one characteristic and considered undesirable. But you sat idly by while they did that to almost every category of women throughout history. And that led to women believing that they were as worthless as society made them feel. And now they realize that they deserve more, but you don't like that when it's done at a man's expense. We hear this argument, gentlemen, that society has high expectations towards women all the damn time. But reality is, society doesn't have even half the expectations towards women as it does for men. Men are expected to have high earning jobs, they are expected to be tech savvy, unable to fix a variety of problems, men are expected to be the backbone of the relationship, men are expected to be mentally stable, to be socially active. And all of those uh, societal expectations are backed by women's preferences in the dating aspect. Just pause the video and go through all the things I mentioned and ask yourself if that is what women expect going into a relationship. Society used to expect from women to be able to grow a family and nurture kids. But now that's out of the way, thanks to womanism, because we live in empowered times. So what exactly does society expect from women? It doesn't expect financial success. It doesn't expect a problem-solving attitude. It doesn't expect women to carry the problems in the relationship. You know, women will often whine about how they have to wear makeup and reach all the unreasonable body standards. But truth is, men couldn't care less about makeup or body types. Tell me if you disagree with these guys, but I have never seen a man demand from his girlfriend that she wears makeup. Or the argument that men expect a certain beauty standards is false also. It's not like men compare every woman to Scarlett Johansson. Men will either find a woman attractive or unattractive, and even the women that seem unattractive to some guys will be attractive in the eyes of others. You know, just take a shower and don't be obese and you will meet the, criter the criteria of a lot of men. Wearing makeup or following beauty standards is a self-imposed expectation that many women follow or self-esteem issues or to feel better than their friend group. Neither men nor society demands those things from women. What men expect from the ladies is a pleasant attitude and to not be a pain on the genitals, but apparently that's too much to ask nowadays. But go on, keep talking about the billion made-up expectations that women have to abide. I'm, I'm all ears. 
you don't want people telling women to raise their standards, but you were fine when they were telling them to lower them because of their age, weight, or previous sexual history. And I'm not saying that I support anyone being called ugly, but I do find it ironic that you only want to talk about fairness once the tables have turned. And that tells me that you don't care about this being done to people. You care about it being done to you. Notice how she mentioned that women should not lower their standards based on their age, weight, or notch count. So basically, a 300 pounds woman is as attractive as a 151. A 45 year old woman is as desirable as a 22 year old one. And the street walk on the highway can have the same expectations for Prince Charming as any other woman. Make it make sense, gentlemen. But enough talking about coping with the bad decisions of the past. Let's move on to our second TikTok. I just tell the truth and telling the truth is crazy. Feminist Moira Donegan has written, the problem was never that women found the sex too casual, but that they found it too unkind. And that I think is the issue. Women having sex with a lot of people is not inherently good or bad. It doesn't inherently mm -hmm. benefit men or um, disadvantage women. It's just that the way that this culture perceives and practices uh, casual sex tends to be sort of violent and unkind. Violent and unkind? So bedroom fun is violent and unkind to women. Gentlemen, I honestly don't even know what this woman is trying to say here. You know, let's keep watching till the end. So maybe it makes a lick of sense to women so it's not the it's not the sex <laughs> that's the problem it's not the act of having sex that's the issue um it's the fact that we live in a culture where what men want sexually is trumped over what women want so what men want is trumped over what women want and how exactly does that happen do you think you know men screw her points they're so absurd and unrelatable i couldn't even understand them to be honest. What I understand is that yet another woman is trying to cope with the fact that a high body count is repulsive to men with self-respect. And you know what, I won't even comment on that gentlemen. If you want to hear my take on that, just watch the previous or next video because I feel like I mentioned this on every single one. But now guys, let's have a, a little bit of a chat. I'll play some gameplay on the back. And I will read a few of the questions I've been receiving from followers. So, question for Hidan. Do all your opinions on the OF situation apply to men as well? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think that if there was a demand for male content on OnlyFans, yeah, I think that there will be men willing to earn money, uh, money off of that way. Uh, but that will never be the case. And yes, I also think that any woman with uh, self-respect would not want to date a man who has an OnlyFans. Now let's move on to the second question. Uh, this was uh, on a poll I did about what type of content people want to see. I personally want to see men who use women for hookup purposes and the reasons why. And what do you think of them? So about men who use women, interestingly enough, um, I was talking uh, with Taylor just yesterday. If you take a look at the top 10 percentage of men, you know, the really handsome, wealthy, with social status ones, they behave exactly like the average woman does. They do not commit to a single relationship, they like to have many options, they keep jumping from one girl to another, they use women for their own benefit, they ghost, they are arrogant. You know, the top percentage of men behave like the average female. And the reason for that is power. What they have in common is the power to choose. The average guy, even if he is attractive, even if he has things going his way, he still, won't, he still won't get a, a lot of options. Meanwhile, women can be really average and they will still receive a lot of attention and demand. So every woman has a huge roster and they always go for the, for the men at the top. Hence why the top 10% of men have so many options. Therefore, I think that it hasn't so much to do with the gender, but with the power. And I mentioned this uh, on my introduction video. I do not think that each gender is inherently bad but each gender faces different difficulties. And most of women's difficulties could be solved by picking the right guy. So if hypothetically, the roles were reversed, 
and men had all the attention and the power to choose, I think a lot of men will be going from one hookup to another. And we can see proof of that in the top 10% of men. But that is not the case in reality, and the fact that women get blinded by the many options does not excuse them. At a human level, we can see the same thing happening with money, which also brings power. You know how they say that money changes people? Because having a lot of money gives you a lot of power to change things. And when a certain person gets that power, he shows his true colors. And this works the same uh, for men and women. So the same way a person with money gets blinded by the power he has, women get blinded all, uh, by all the attention they have. You know, they have the ability to choose between many men. They have endless sources of attention and validation on the internet, even without doing anything. This is also um, the reason why a century back it was easier to date, because the internet was not around and women were more humble. They had less power and were down to earth. But now, because their options are limitless, they have this false sense that they have all the time in the world, all the options in the world, standards go through the roof, and this is why a lot of them want char, because the average guy seems boring to them, because they see a hundred average guys, and they, they are all the same to them. So, in resume, if men had the power in the dating world, I would hold them accountable, but it's not the case. This is why I blame women for the bad decisions they make. Because it's on them to make the right choices, to not get blinded by the power they have and to choose a good guy. So I hope that answers your question. Now, the third and last question. This is again on the poll. So this person, I personally do not mind any content, but I would like to see more of positive content, like girls with good behavior or men not simping and good stories if they exist. Alright, man. <laughs> Uh, I'll keep an eye on that. I have many ideas for the channel. Uh, just right now, I don't have the time to to write the scripts and get the ideas um, in a good manner. But I have a lot of ideas, and I'll keep yours. Gentlemen, this will be it for today. If you have any suggestions, uh, shortly, you will, you will have the ability to write to me uh, on Discord, on the video suggestion videos or article suggestion videos. So thank you if you've made it till the end, and I wish you a good one. Peace.